I really love diesel. Yeah, my diesel it's has changed my fantastic. life. The thing about diesel is it's, that it's so efficient and also it's you find that... amazingly good. Diesel is on your car. Well, so well although diesel is more expensive than so it's more economical. <laughs> I dreamt that the world had been taken over by diesels, that everybody was driving diesels, and it was a black, noisy, horrible, terrible place. Hey, you're being a little overdramatic, aren't you? Diesels are okay. This Passat's a diesel, and it's all right. The Passat is fine. It's a very good car. Listen to the engine. It sounds like a tractor, like a combine harvester. <laughs> I hate diesels. I despise them. I'm sorry. Well, a tough, because tonight, Top Gear is looking at the alternatives to petrol, and I'm afraid diesel is one of them. <sighs> I'll go back to sleep. But before I do, my associate, Mr. Nadell, goes absolutely bonkers in Nissan's bonkers new Skyline GTR. And Victoria Butler Henderson tries out the latest automotive bonuses for city traders, the Audi S3 and the BMW 328i Coupe. Now listen up, Quentin. This is the new VW Passat TDI, which is an altogether different sort of diesel. I think I'm going to be sick. Look, it's got a 2.5-litre V6 engine, so it's incredibly fast, it's smooth, it's very comfortable to drive. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. And you would never know that it runs on diesel or petrol or thin air. I would know because I can hear a small man in a concrete pillbox firing a machine gun from it. You know it's a diesel. I'm sorry. OK, it is a little noisy, I'll grant you, but it does do 40 miles to the gallon, so you can't complain that much. Yes, I can, because it costs £1,400 more than the equivalent petrol car. And to recoup your investment, you would have to drive from Jupiter and back. I'm going to show you something else and see if I can convince you that way. You can try. Right then, this is the Peugeot 406 HDI. It has a common rail engine, which means the diesel is forced into the cylinders under high pressure. It's all managed by a computer, which means it's powerful, it's frugal, it's light and refined and quiet. You're sounding just like a diesel bore, but I did hear you say this is quiet, yes? Yes. Let's just see how quiet this diesel motor car is, shall we? Are you deaf? This car sounds like the Industrial That's Revolution. Really, that's when it's idling. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I'm going to have one more attempt. I'm going to appeal to the car snob. You in can you. try. I will, I will crack it this time. <laughs> so here we are, the Alfa Romeo. Gorgeous to look at, a dream to drive, and it's a diesel engine. The 156 2.4 diesel indeed. But you see, Kate, the thing about Alfa Romeos is they are lovely to look at, but they're also lovely to listen to. Normally, with a petrol engine, you have this symphony orchestra under the bonnet playing tunes to you, but with this, you just have this rather gruff mechanical cacophony, so I'm sorry, it's as good as a diesel gets, I will grant you that much, but I'm sorry, it's just not for me. I quite like gruff. Just to show you that I'm not dismissing all alternative fuels out of hand, I'm going to take you to somewhere where there is an option, gas-powered cars. Gas-powered cars? Yes, I'm going to take you to the Alternative Fuel Show 99. Oh, I can hardly wait. Liquefied petroleum gas. It's cheaper than diesel and kicks out almost half the toxins. Lower CO2, lower particulate emissions, and it reduces ground level ozone by 60%. Save money and save the planet. LPG is giving you um, less rubbish out the tailpipe of the vehicle. It's cheaper to run. How much cheaper? We're talking about 35.9 pence a litre, £1.70 a gallon compared to, what is it, £3.40 a gallon now for petrol and diesel? And I was reading some, some bump of yours that says that if you ran a car for 20,000 miles, um, you would save £2,000 over three years. That's absolutely correct, yes. Well, I can now inform you that I am, in fact, driving an LPG car. It's nice and quiet. That's correct. Tootles yes. along merrily. This is Paul, who, uh, you're a bit of an LPG convert, aren't you, Paul? I am very much so. It's part of my council's fuel strategy to use LPG. What about for people who want to convert their old cars to LPG? Is that something they can do? There are quite a few conversion companies, and they're all approved in the power shift register from the Energy Savings Trust, so that people can look at the type of grant that's available and... So, hang on, you can get money from the government 
to help you yes. pay for that the conversion. The government is currently promoting, I think, 3.3 million this year so that you can get your vehicle converted. Do you also get a grant buying a new car that runs on LPG? Yes, uh, in fact, uh, the five vehicles that I've recently ordered, I've now got the Energy Saving Trust Power Shift grants for those vehicles. So, the government will hand you a cheque for 75% of the cost of a £1,750 conversion or towards the price of a dual-fuel car. There are a few downsides, mind, like only 300 LPG filling stations in the country and quite a bit of your boot will be taken up by the gas tank and associated gubbins. So, LPG, cheaper? You get a grant to help you with the conversion and you would never notice the difference with petrol just driving it around, but what about performance? This is a Citroen Zantia 1.8 LPG. Now, the equivalent petrol Zantia will do 60 in about 10.7 seconds and Citroen claim this one will do it in 12. So, have you got your watch ready? I have. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, 20 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. 12 seconds. Nothing in it. So in the global picture, your performance isn't that compromised and you are driving around in a car whose motive power is half the price of petrol. I think that's a good deal. I do have a worry though, Go just on. a little nitpick, that you'll only be able to get it in sort of solid sensible cars, not low-slung sexy ones. You'll still have to ruin the environment, have well, fun. Well, don't worry, because we have a very low-slung, sexy, gas-powered Morgan, Kate. I can't believe there's actually a Morgan that cuts on gas. Does it really sound like a proper one? Try it for yourself. Big, satisfying roar. Doesn't hiss. So perhaps we've given you some food for thought tonight, but if, like Quentin, you wouldn't convert to diesel in a million years, or you like the idea of LPG, but you're worried you'll never find it, is there another alternative? Well, yes, technology has come to the rescue, because cars like this Toyota Yaris are now so light, it means they're lighter on fuel and they're kinder to the environment. This car does a staggering 50 miles to the gallon. That's only 6p a mile in fuel costs. As much as a diesel without the death rattle, in fact, Catherine. Thank you, Quentin. And even big cars can have an environmental conscience. This is the new Mercedes S-Class 5-litre V8. But don't worry, because the technology allows the engine to shut down half the bank of cylinders. So when you're doing 60 miles an hour, you're only running on four cylinders. And your improvement in petrol consumption is 15%. So, as Catherine says, technology to the rescue. But there is one overwhelming question, Catherine, I think we need to ask of you. Confess to the viewers, what car do you drive? I drive a diesel, Quentin. Speak up, we can't hear you. I drive a diesel. She drives Quentin. a diesel. Will you be driving a diesel much longer after what you've learned today? Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Thank you very much. I rest my case. And how do you feel now? You've been killing all these fur little animals. Stop it. Do you feel it's humble? Do you yes. feel ashamed? <laughs> Welcome to Crichton TV and Women's Shower Night, Red Dwarf, next on BBC Two. On my chat show, we have one rule. Nobody is allowed to plug their latest book, their latest film, their latest video, their latest hairdo, their latest whatever. Except, of course, for me. So, watch my programme. Tell them all about it, sugary-voiced woman. Clarkson, Sunday at 